Like, I don't know, I haven't felt this way in a long time. But, and I really think it's because I haven't been eating right, drinking water enough. Like, I just been not getting a lot of sleep, just on the go, like too much. <laughs> what's up i am actually trying out a new restaurant in my local like neighborhood area um in atlanta so i'm at this asian spot i'm excited to try it it looks really cute i'm gonna show you guys a video when i'm walking in what it looks like on the outside it's not really cute but it's just like a cute concept put it that way um but yeah i've been really stressed i just wanted to get out the house i had a lot of like things and tasks to do on my laptop today um, there's just been a lot going on. I'm not going to tell y'all about it right now. I'm going to tell y'all about it soon though, but there's been a lot going on. It's really stressful. So I'm just trying to deal with it the best I can. And still a lot of amazing things like me starting my new job. Like there's been so many great things happening, but just on the back end, I've definitely been dealing with something, but like, it's like my energy's just been depleted lately. And I just feel like I literally am feeling drained. Like energy just can't get up. Don't want to sleep. Like, I mean, sleeping really long. Like, I don't know. I haven't felt this way in a long time. But we went to Tulum for Bree's birthday and then came right back. And then I had to go out of town again. And I really think it's because I haven't been eating right, drinking water enough, like, I just been not getting a lot of sleep, just on the go, like too much. So for almost like half a month straight. So I feel like right now I just want to do things at a really cool pace, slow pace, and just like chill. Like I was trying to find yoga today, but I'm going to just go tomorrow instead. But stuff like that is what I need right now. I just want to be on the couch, but I did need to eat. Um, I'm trying to like avoid getting groceries twice. So I'm going to go grocery shopping tomorrow night. Thanksgiving's Thursday and it's Monday. So my parents are coming up for Thanksgiving. I'm really excited about that. Um, Bree's parents are coming up too and her family. So we're going to do like a joint Thanksgiving thing with our, parent, our parents. And um, we wanted to host them this year up here. So it should be really fun. Um, so yeah, so I want to go get the groceries tomorrow essentially. So I'm eating out right now. But anyway, let's go in here. I got my little laptop bag. I'm chilling in my Florida State, um, <laughs> my Florida State hoodie. Got on the Uggs with it today. Phone, sweats, thug in, okay? But if you see me outside like this, sometimes this is just how I feel. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, all right, I'm starving and I want some sushi and some, you know, just good stuff. Hopefully it's good. It says it has pretty decent reviews, but it looks like just a chill, literal spot in your local community put it that way so let's go how cute y'all this spot is called the orient express <laughs> literally this is so funny to me let's see if the food's actually really good next door we're going to the front of the train guys but I'm not going to lie, in the summertime, I be passing by here, y'all, when I'm driving home, and it be packed out. Let's see. Oh, it's literally a little train. Hey. Uh, you want to dine in? Yeah. Okay, how many people? Just me. Okay, and you want hibachi? I've never been here, so what are the options? Okay, so we have hibachi. Mm -hmm. It's the, the one that chef cooking in front of you like the real one okay steak and okay shrimp chicken or you want to the regular dining we have chinese and thank you, thank you. chinese and sushi um i want to do regular dining okay sure yeah do i just go through here yeah this is so cool oh just flag me down i'll help you out for sure appreciate it How's it going? Good. Dining in. You want to do heat watch your regular dining table? Regular dining table. Thank you. Could I sit out here? For sure you can. Uh, just two things though. So this kind of serves like a hallway and a waiting area. Okay. So later on when it gets busier, you're going to have a lot of people walking by, specifically me. And the airport <laughs> isn't as well. But if you guys are if you're okay with that, I can totally see you. Yeah, I want to work on my laptop. So I feel like yeah, I want to no be out here more. Uh, you won't have any of the table. I'll be over there. Okay, cool. Thank you. This is so cool. How 
how cool is this place that I found on my house? This might be my new little Asian spot. <laughs> All right, I'm about to post up here. <laughs> oh my God, how cute is this place? Like, so cute. Beverage menu, let's see, let's see. I feel like I'm in the mood. I don't need to drink, I just said I was exhausted actually. I was gonna get some wine, but this is probably why I'm feeling Hi, how are you? Just me. Could I just have a glass of water, please? Could I have lemon? Oh my God, it's literally late. Uh, let me know when you get your laptop out, I'll, I'll put it in for oh, you. I have it here. I'm hoping this password is the same. All right, y'all. So the food was okay. Wouldn't really go back there unless I was just desperately in need of that. But wouldn't go back. Wouldn't really recommend it either. It was just okay. Like, given local Chinese restaurant, I couldn't have done takeout and to go instead of going in there and sit down. You know, it was given that. Um, but just stop by the Barking Dog Bakery. This is where I come in. This is where I shop for Chloe. It's a natural um natural dog um dog dog store basically and um why i really like it is they make fresh stuff they make bakeries so i found this a few years ago when i was looking for a birthday cake once for chloe um yep so got my girl all her treats and i just found out that they're discontinuing her food in january so what are we gonna do it was like going out of stock. We couldn't find it. I bought like a few bags, so I'm stocked up for like maybe another month and a half. But what are we gonna do? Say good morning. Say what you're thankful for. Me? Oh, so sweet. <laughs> so sweet. You're... All right, y'all. I just woke up. And we prepped the oxtails and the salmon last night. I got on this thing. I got these at TJ Maxx. I just love them for the house. But my mom's trying to clean up the kitchen. So she can come relax since this is my Thanksgiving dinner. I'll be cooking this time. But you know, she can't relax. She never not cooked on Thanksgiving, so she don't know what to do. <laughs> it's okay. Thanksgiving. It was really great having my parents in town. 
Uh, my mom and my dad came to see me and we did dinner at Bree's house. So that was really cool. Our parents finally met and we all just like had a really amazing Thanksgiving. So I got this wreath um, that I want to hang up. So I'm gonna go to Target. So I'm gonna bring y'all with me, baby clothes chilling. We're gonna go for a little car ride. And y'all, I'm gonna go get um, a wreath hanger and I gotta get the batteries for the lights that light up in the wreath. Um, and I need a new SD card. So I wanna just get another one because this one's starting to get full. I gotta constantly delete it. Um, so I'm just going to go get another one so that I can record a podcast episode today or tomorrow. Um, tonight I'm going to Nobu. It opened here in Atlanta. I'm really excited about that. So we got us some reservations and I am really, really excited. I love sushi. I love Nobu. So I'm going to see what it's giving in the city on the first Saturday night that is really open to the public. So that'd be really dope. I do know that the reservation sold out really quick for over the next few months. So you should definitely look into that if that is something you want to do in the near future. But anyways, I am about to get ready. Um, I actually have this cream jumpsuit um, hoodie. I mean, hoodie and pants wetsuit that I feel amazing. And when uh, Brie had her Body by Brie uh, release for my, body, my outfit online, they gave everyone these plush hoodies. I don't know if they released them to the public or not yet, but y'all, they feel amazing on the inside. They got like this material. I don't know if you could see that. Oh, it feels so good. So let's go run some errands and get back and then get ready to go down and do some YouTube editing and recording and out for a fun girls night. So that's what's on the agenda today. All right, so I got the wreath hook. This is the wreath that I got. I got this at Costco. I think it is so cute. I paid like maybe 40 bucks for it. So let's see what it looks like lit up. I just got a very special package so let's go ahead and get this first unboxing so thank you so much from Teddy Blake for sending me this nice bag and when I saw this bag I was thinking very much you know work bag very sophisticated dinner something very nice so let's go ahead and open up this bad boy I'm so excited actually have no bags this color and I had a black bag in this texture so I wanted to go ahead and get something a little different. This 
from Teddy Blake New York. So we have this box from Teddy Blake New York. Like I said, thank you so much for sending me this bag. I think it is so cute. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm gonna get ready and put it on with. But yeah, let's get into the bag. I thought this bag was a great color. I didn't have anything like it. Um, and it just gives me like sexy dinner or going to work vibes. So designer handbags made in literally, they're literal, real leather. So this is what it comes like. And I will tag the details and the link to the bag that I got below. I think this is just so cute. So, so cute. And it is a crocodile green bag. I really, really like it. So I just think this will be so cute for work. Put your tablet in here, iPad, you know. And then like if we go out to dinner, I think it's also very cute and sexy to where you can like go from day to night. So I really like that about this bag and that's kind of why I chose it. Just pull out the stuffing inside and see what is going on here. So it comes with a strap. Ooh, this is really cute. So it comes with this detail. See, maybe you want to just loop it once so that we hang. And it was just in the bag, so it'll probably take a little second to just, you know, get air it out. And then you can strap it up if you want to. Maybe put it on your shoulder or crossbody. And these are right here. So obviously this just came out, but I just think this is a very cute. So we're gonna see how it looks once I'm fully ready. Can't wait.